How you doing, buddy? Good. Back again, aren't we? We are. What's you going know, on? My wife and I were talking about wills last night. Mm. Mm-hmm. I told her I wanted to be cremated. Yeah. She made an appointment for Tuesday. I'm... Let's go today. Light talk. What are we talking about today, Chris? Here, I don't remember. What are we talking about? Yeah. Transformer size. Transformer oh, size. We do get a lot of questions on that. Yeah, we do. So we have a couple different sizes of transformers, obviously, right? So which size should we select is, is generally the question. Or how many do you need or whatever. Yep. So it, it does make it nice, too, with our communication. You can use me as you want on the system. But You know what I do? What? I ask Mark. Uh, hey. He's the man. He is. The yeah, man. I'd say some of these folks have talked to Mark. Probably. Yeah, he's he gets, he's the go-to. Gets you the answer. He, he, he sure does. Otherwise, yeah. you gotta do that math. I know that's no fun. So eighty percent rule. A lot of so people go by. A lot of people go by the standard eighty percent rule, and that's typically don't go over eighty percent of the capacity of the entire transformer, right? Gotcha. So if you if you stay within that number for the most part, you're you're safe. Our fixtures, you can actually calculate ex exactly how many lights you can get on a transformer by the max output numbers that, that we list yeah, on our website. Yeah. So that's the other thing. You want to use the max, some companies call it max VA, mm -hmm. some, you know, we call it max watts, but there's always that maximum number and that's the one that's the one you want to use for just to determine how much power each each light draws. Yes, yeah. So for a quick reference, our six watt lights, for instance, have a max output of seven watts. Our 10 watt lights have a max output of 12 watts and our 14 watt lights have a max output of 18 watts. Wow. Can you believe oh, I recited all of that? Right I mean, I've head. got it down. Yes, didn't even check my notes. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, so it's really that easy. You just add them up, make sure you're under the 80% number and, yeah. and you're good to go. Yep. So. What about the zones? Did you guys talk about that? Ooh. Evan, with coming in strong. Mm. So Evan just asked, so in our nine series, it's just one connection. So you can, even though you can control the lights independently, there's just one main output that you can connect all, all the runs to. In the Stratus, there are two zones. Evan just asked, well, what about the zones? Mm -hmm. We don't care how many watts are on each zone. So if you get a 300 watt Stratus, you can put 300 watts all on one zone, yep. or you can split it up however you want. All we care about is that max number. Right. So if you buy a 300 watt Stratus, you know, you still want to be in the in the 80% rule, which puts you at 240. You can put all 240 watts on one zone if you want, or split it up however you want. So great question, Evan. Yeah, thank you, Evan. Appreciate that. So guys, as always, you know how to get a hold of us. What are our social media? What Facebook, the Twitter, yeah, yeah. Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok. Ah, that's right. Guys, thanks for watching. Well, if you ever wanted to run through the streets naked, just spray yourself with Windex. It prevents streaking. We're just immune to each other's jokes now. We don't even crack a smile anymore. I'm do still we? Process. process. Yeah. You want me to explain it to you? <laughs> yeah.